Uh, hello, Melissa and Randall. How are you guys doing today? Bonnie. Hi, Bonnie. Uh, so great to see you. We, we match, Melissa. I was going to say. We got the memo. We got the memo. We got the memo. We're already in sync. This is going to be great. Listen, oh, I'm you're a girl. Painting, painting behind you. Just yes, so, you do. Yes. The, you know, yeah. the blue. That is yeah. true. That is true. So it's all good. We're all we're all in sync. Oh. Okay, so for yeah. a girl who, who worked in a video store for most of my high school years and into university, boy, was I ever excited for this. Um, Randall, like how near and dear was Blockbuster to your life growing up? I, I worked in a video store too. Uh, uh, yeah, during high school for a couple years or uh, a couple summers. Yeah, and it it brought back so many memories, you know. And yeah, uh, so, yeah. yeah. But how did you connect to Timmy? Because you know, I got a feel for this guy. He's trying to keep this place afloat. The last blockbuster standing. That's big pressure on your shoulders. Yes, it is. Uh, I mean, Timmy really felt very, uh, I, it's probably one of the closest I've ever felt to a character being like me, you know, uh, in that, you know, the idea of this character being this analog guy in a 5G world. I mean, that's that's very much me in a lot of ways. I, I very much long for the simplicity of, uh, of, of, you know, those times. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, it, 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 it felt very, uh, I felt very connected to the character. Okay, and then Melissa, for you to uh, reunite with Vanessa Ramos, who of course gave us the amazing Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I mean, come on, no brainer when, when they came to you for this? Oh yeah, well, yeah, Vanessa, uh, when I first met Vanessa at Brooklyn, which I think was like season five or six, I immediately fell in love with her and thought she was the coolest funniest person I'd ever met um, and just like really wanted to be friends with her. Uh, so when they told me that, uh, you know, they were, they were sending her pilot script, I almost was like that thing when you like someone so much and you're like, I hope it's good because I wanna, I really wanna do it because it's her. And oh no, if I don't like it and how am I gonna handle that and like still be her best friend because we're not there yet. Um, so that was my journey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I read it and I was like, oh, this is so good. Yay. So I was really, Absolutely. Really it is so hysterical. And your supporting cast too. I mean, it just, it, everybody in this is so great. But Randall, I, I got to ask you, because when I was behind the counter, I had my go-to recommendations. One of which was the great Santini, Breaking Away, all those kinds of, what would be your go-to recommendation, Randall? I mean, we, I, you know, I've talked about this, uh, time and again because it is just there there's no other answer it's when harry met sally oh yeah yeah okay good one yeah. okay melissa how about for you i mean it's kind of the same answer yeah. because it is a, it's a perfect movie for all occasions and all emotions <laughs> yeah. um yeah uh yeah yeah we 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 agree on this one yeah this was uh, a yeah. this was an early uh bonding moment yes. for us was our how much this mutual, movie meant to us. yeah yeah well absolutely well if i were working behind a video store counter right now of course i would recommend brooklyn 99 and fresh off the boat and young <laughs> rock i mean come young on rock. yeah that's yes. right that's yeah. right <laughs> there you Good go choices. Absolutely. They're the best. You guys, thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. This series is freaking hilarious. I loved it. And I really love you guys. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate uh -huh. it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye.